Hello, Blake Rudis here with EverydayHDR.com and HDRInsider.com. And today I want to talk about something really quick and really awesome that can help out almost any photograph, and that's selective sharpening. Now, a lot of times we get this idea after we've finished a photograph, all right, the last thing we're going to do, second to last thing, because the last thing is saving it, the second to last thing we're going to do is sharpen the photograph. And a lot of times we just Throw a high pass sharpen. We'll go uh, Commander Control J on our photograph to duplicate that background layer. We'll go uh, Soft Light uh, or Overlay, and then you go to Filter, Other, High Pass Sharpen, and you call it good, right? Well, what happens there is you've got your entire photograph has now been sharpened. The stuff in the background has been sharpened. The entire photograph has been sharpened. And sometimes you don't want the entire photograph to be sharpened. A lot of times I selectively sharpen because I know that the highlights that come out during sharpening are one of those things that's going to attract your viewer to the focal point. Now, um, any, anywhere in a photograph um, that the viewer is looking, the highlight points are the areas in the photograph that's going to grab their attention the quickest. So when you sharpen things, a lot of times you get these little peaks of highlights on top of your details, and those peaks of highlights on top of those details allow the viewer to navigate right to those things that you're trying to point out to them. So the quickest way that I, that I like to uh, selectively sharpen is to go to select and go to color range and then you go to midtones. So we only want to sharpen our midtones in this case. We don't necessarily want to sharpen our shadows. We don't want to sharpen our highlights. We want to sharpen our midtones. And I know that because if I look down at these rocks, there's a lot of detail in those rocks. And with this view, anything that's in white is what's going to be selected. So now if I grab a little bit more of those midtones by moving my slider over to the right, I get more of those rocks. All right, now this is in Adobe Photoshop CC. The range can't be changed in CS5 or CS6, but the fuzziness can. So you can increase the fuzziness to grab more. Okay, press OK. Now press Command or Control J. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a duplicate of all of the midtones in your photograph. Now you can see that there's a lot of midtone area in this photograph that I don't necessarily want to sharpen. I don't want to sharpen the background. So I'll just add a mask to this by clicking the uh, Add Layer Mask. Click on that layer mask and paint in black to make all that stuff disappear that you don't want to be sharpened. All right, so that's a good, decent um, grab of the things that I don't necessarily want sharpened in this photograph. All right, so now if I press Alt or Option again on that eyeball to make the whole photo visible, I can now zoom into these rocks and see what's going to happen when I go to Filter, go to Sharpen, and then Unsharp Mask. All right, so with my Unsharp Mask selected, I can, uh, I'm doing it just to this layer. Actually, right now, I'm doing it just to the mask, and that's not going to help. All right, make sure you have the actual layer selected. All right, let's do that again. Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. All right, so now I can see as I make these adjustments, right what's happening on those uh, those sharpened areas. Now, like I told you before, those little peaks of highlights, those are going to grab the attention of the viewer. So if I do, um, I usually go about 140 on the amount and about anywhere, usually don't go any higher than two pixels on the radius and leave the threshold at zero. And that's a good, um, a good sharpen, a really strong sharpen. So if I press OK, I can see exactly what's happening with that sharpened layer now. So if I click that eyeball on and off, look at what I've just sharpened. I've sharpened all of those rocks and all the midtones on those rocks, and I did it really simply and really easily. Now, if I weren't teaching you this, I could have done it a lot faster. But because I'm sitting here teaching you, I mean, this took me three minutes and 52 seconds to show you. Um, you can see how fast by going to select and going to midtones and only selecting your midtones and sharpening just those midtone areas to help bring that stuff out. I'm Blake Rudis with HDR Insider and EverydayHDR.com. If you want to see more about how this photograph was post-processed, um, I did an entire tutorial uh, from beginning to end. It was about 42 minutes long on Everyday HDR Insider on April uh, 2000. 14's workflow. You can sign up for free for 24 hours and then um, after that you can go from there if it's something that you are interested in. So visit uh, hdrinsider.com. There's a link right below this that will direct you right there.